Hello and welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is episode 16 of Let's Play Escape from Monkey Island. In the previous episode, we failed significantly. Um, I say we, mainly me. <laughs> it was um, a bit useless. Um, yeah, I didn't know what to do, but you guys, loads of you um, helped me out. I said, what can I do? And uh, yeah, Andreas in the comments, uh, previous episode, and Jay. Jay Emilia and Alex, uh, yeah, all you guys have basically said I need to talk to somebody. Um, and yeah, I, they have a burning desire, so it's got to be something to do with burning the wax painting. Which I kind of I kind of thought I had to do something like that, like melt it or something, but I never really spoke to anybody. So I'm going to speak to this guy here to start with. Even though I've already spoken to him. Excuse maybe me. there's well, maybe hello. there's some new Great. conversations yeah. that I had not opened up. Yeah, thanks. Well, that was fruitful. <laughs> well, that's one down. Um, right, let's speak to the waitress. If I can get across the bridge. Apparently I can't even get across the bridge. Today is going to be a good day. Yes, it is. Um, yeah, thanks for all the... Uh, th honestly, thanks for all the help, because um, I would be on episode 163 at this rate. Uh, right, talk to waitress. Excuse me, miss. I'll be right with you. Why don't you have a seat first? All right, well, let's sit down first, then. Um, use last all. This seat is all wet. I better choose another one. It's all wet. Was it wet before? I missed that one. Well, here I am. Here I am anyway. Um, talk to waitress. Excuse me, miss. Um, miss? Can I help you? Okay, right. Maybe uh, I'm a mighty thirsty pirate. Can you re recommend something from the menu? Can I order some food? Did we have these options last time? Because I thought we actually talked to her and she just kind of said something and walked off. Right, let's. I'm a mighty thirsty pirate. Yeah, let's what order can some, I get you? Let's order a drink. Grog, yes. I'll have a grog. We don't have that, but we do have a fine selection of tropical drinks. What? No grog? I'm not sure what that is, but I know we don't carry it. <laughs> can I interest you in a fine tropical drink? They come with cute little umbrellas. No. What kind of umbrella drink? What kind of bar doesn't say grog? I really want a grog? What? What kind? Maybe we need what an umbrella. Kind of umbrella drinks? Well, we have a few specialties. Deep blue sea with a coral reef chaser, monkfish mango madness, and barnacles and James Bryan cooler. Wow. Can I get any of those? No. Perhaps I'll think it over. Okay. okay. Let me know when you decide. So, let's... No, let's recommend something from the menu. Can you recommend something from the menu? Oh, the sushi is all very good. Our chef is one of the best there is. Um, what sushi? Are you for real? Everyone's eating it these days. Okay, it's raw fish artistically prepared with natural ingredients from the sea. That sounds pretty gross. <laughs> well, we do have a heated dish for the less trendy people like you. Try the flaming scuttlefish. Oh, flaming. Let's see if we can order, can I order that. Some food? Sure. What can I get you? I want the um, anything that's cooked. Yeah, that one. Do you have anything that's cooked? Try the flaming scuttlefish. It's the only thing yeah. that isn't served raw. I'll have that. Excellent choice, sir. We're required to say that your order will be up shortly. Excellent. Oh, she's gone. What do I have to do? Do I have to wait here? Maybe. It oh, I can hear it on fire. I can hear it on fire. Oh my God. There it is. Um, oh, do I have to? Oh, no, hold on. I bet I have to. Oh, where's the thing gone? It's not there. Put it away. I bet I have to. Pick up paintbrush. Pick up paintbrush. What are you doing, guybrush? Um, and then use paintbrush with that. Maybe I have to wait for it to go there. Yeah, now. Oh, I see. Then we have to wait for that to... Oh. Oh, mon Dieu, not again! Oh, but then he comes okay, out, doesn't okay, he? Okay, I'm leaving. Get out of my kitchen before I make you ye sushi dessert. Get out of my kitchen before I make you ye sushi dessert. Oh, that I was weird. Move before he sees what I did. I think I have to do that, but I think I have to time it right. And then I have to pour Sacre grog move. in I here, don't I? Oh, understand. now I did. Why do the boats keep stopping? Right, I haven't got any. I haven't got any grog. I think that's what I have to do. I think I have to melt the paint in there, time it so that that, that melts oh, it. Oui, oui. Yeah. Ah, fix it again. 
Right, okay. I know what I'm doing now. I know what I'm doing. So what I need to do is let's pick up this paintbrush. Pick up the paintbrush. Put it away. Let's go get some more grog. And then we'll come back and do exactly that. And hopefully that will melt the painting. Which will show the map that um, Meat Hook made. Right. Oh. Oh, I feel like I feel like I've um I feel like I've done good already. Pick up the candy grog. I mean, I'm not entirely sure that when I put that grog in the machine, I'm not entirely sure what it what it actually did. But it did something. So, I'm happy about that. There we go. It has recently come to my attention that my opponent, Charles L. Charles. Right, Tiki Bar. It's all about the timing on this one, though, isn't it? So we're going to have to. It took a while for him to actually whack that paintbrush in the uh, in the mechanism. Use the bar stool. This seat is all wet. Oh, we we'll use that one these instead. Bar have flowers on them. Somehow that just doesn't seem right. Talk to waitress. I want to Excuse have me, the same miss. again, please. And not pay for it and run off. Um, miss? Can I help you? Can I order some food? Sure. What can I get you? Do you have anything that's cooked? Try the flaming scuttlefish. It's the only thing that isn't served raw. I'll have that. Excellent choice, sir. We're required to say that. Your order will be up shortly. Okay, so what I need to do now, whilst that's been done, is use paintbrush and get ready get ready to whack it in the propulsion mechanism and I reckon I have to do it pretty much when the when the flame goes behind the this like tiki pole thing because otherwise we're gonna be doing this all day right I reckon about now ah, maybe that's a little bit too early what do you reckon well, we've got the grog so we can try again he doesn't work. Not again. Oh, I better move before he sees what I did. Mm, I'm not sure whether that's going to get that. Oh. I do not understand. Mighty imbecile. What are these doing here? All right, use the grog. Use grog in. This thingy. Oh yeah, that stops the like the propulsion of the boats around. I guess. Kind of makes sense. Have I done anything? Hmm. Right. I don't think that worked. I think we need to make it a little bit closer to the picture. Oh. Why do you still molest my kitchen? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm ready. Get out of my kitchen! Molest my kitchen! Before I make ye sushi desor! Get out of my kitchen! Before I make ye sushi desor! Do you have to take it twice, man? I got it. I get you. Right. Now what? And it's moving. Okay. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Pick up, first, I need to pick up the paintbrush. Pick up paintbrush. Although I can't, because she's in the way. Oh, it's coming around again. Oh, maybe I'll just do that. Guy brush. Right, maybe I'll just use that. So I don't have to actually order it again. Use that with sushi propulsion mechanism thingy. And I do still have half a grog. Now. Oh, that seems a bit better, doesn't it? Mondu, not again! Oh, I better move before he sees what I did. Oh, Gyber Streetwood, my imbecile of a protagonist. Yeah, that's annoying. Right, strip that grog in there, and then that should. 
and I'm, I'm still, still, like, going, why, why, what does this grog actually do? No, my grog. Oh, no. Use it with, use it with that. There you go. So we have a painting. That's amazing. Absolutely brilliant. You know what's really, really irritating about the whole thing is that it bloody crashed literally at that moment. So I kind of missed the very beginning of that. But um, yeah, I've got a blue painting. Oh, blue. Maybe I have to give that to the ship's front head. I've still forgot what that's called. All right, let's have a it's look a at it. It's a painting from Meat Hook's Blue Period, depicting what appears to be the entire trial and area. Figurehead. That's the word I'm looking for. Figurehead. I can't think what else to do with it. I mean, it's either that or give it back to Meat Hook. But I mean, why would I give it back to Meat Hook? Maybe he'll explain it to me. But I th I'm going to go to the to the um the docks. Let's press O. Yeah, I'm going to go to the docks first because it says Blue Painting. And maybe she can navigate us. Use that with figurehead. Amazing. Oh, do you need me to carry that big, heavy picture for you? Yeah. Do you mind? You yeah. know what else would look good on me? Your blood <laughs> on my hands. Say, you don't happen to know anything about the ultimate insult, do you? I got your ultimate insult right here. Sounds like a big yes to me. Do you know where it is? How the poop deck should I know? Get a load of this guy. Thinks just because I'm attached to a ship, I know where every little two-bit piece of dirt of an island is. What a scupper licker. Ooh, look at me. I'm Guybrush Threepnard. I'm a mighty stupid pirate. <laughs> All right, what's going on here then? Ah, oh, it's crossing up the Jambalaya. Never been there before. Interesting. Do you know what it looks like? I told you, you festering bucket of shark bait. I don't know anything about your supposed ultimate insult. Look at you walking around like you've got a bow spread up your. Hey, what's this now? Yikes, this looks complicated. This is your captain speaking. Prepare the ship for departure. Oh, great. Now where are we going? Jambalaya Island, home of the ultimate insult. Jambalaya Island? What kind of name is that? Can you get us there, Mr. Cheese? Oi. Oi. Make it so. <clears throat> Elaine? Aren't you forgetting something? All right. Um, are we? I don't think so. The ship is fully stocked with pork rinds, grog, and girly books. Wow, sounds like heaven. No, you forgot to give the gubernatorial symbol back to me. Oh, yeah. Here. Well, I'm off to find the ultimate insult. Try not to get killed and or cursed, dear. What? What? Hey, a talking monkey! <laughs> oh, ungrateful. Uh, Mr. Cheese. Wouldn't it be easier to sail around that typhoon on the horizon? Ah, <laughs> where'd be the fun in that, Cap? Cry havoc and let the dogs Release the dragon! Not in the face! Not in the face! Oh, the ship cannot stand the strain, Cap. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. This was only supposed to be a three hour tour. Well, <laughs> that was a miserable journey. No cushy government job is worth this much grief. Welcome to Jambalaya Island, home of swashbuckling pirates and spooky voodoo curses. And tacky-themed restaurants. And tourists. Do I be hearing piped-in music wafting through those artificial trees? 
What are you guys talking about? This is a perfectly normal pirate town. That's been completely <laughs> taken over by the corporate tourist industry. Gee, Ozzy must have been really busy here. Oh, I need a drink. I've got repairs to make. I'll stay here and, um, uh, guard the ship. Awesome, so we're on Jambalaya. Is it me, or is, is the relationship between Elaine and Guybrush just, you know, not exactly a strong one? Which is sad, because I think they're great together. Look Community at rowboat. Disclaimer. The Jambalaya Island Chamber of Commerce cannot be held responsible for the seaworthiness of the community rowboat. This doesn't sound good. So what do we actually have to do on Jambalaya? Find the ultimate insult. Let's go find what that is. Welcome to Jambalaya. Okay. That's a good start. Look at ships. Oh my gosh. That's a Plexus LVX 300 limited edition luxury yacht. Talk about glitzy. Volleyball net. Real pirates don't play volleyball. Of course, the hooks and eye patches tend to keep them away from most sports that place an emphasis on inflatable balls and acute depth <laughs> perception. Very good. Oh, what was that? All right, I was just going into a little alcove there for nothing. Oh, there we go. Right, that says, I think, Planet Freakwood. Awesome. Prepared Who's by that? genuinely fun filled pirate chefs. Gaze upon our <gasps> genuine That's Murray. guy brush. That's Murray. Donated by Axe. Murray? Murray the evil skull? Guy brush? Guy brush the mortal pirate? Wow, it is a small world after all. Awesome. How did you escape from Monkey Island? The last time I saw you, you were sitting on a shelf in LeChuck's demonic amusement park. Ah, that's a tale of heart stopping malice and evil. Mm, naturally. It all started a few months ago. As usual, I was sitting on my shelf, working on my plans to conquer the world. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, the amusement park exploded with a blast of demonic heck fire. Wow. It was a hydrogen filled with balloons. Unfortunate accident. Largo's burrito bar. Did the anti matter horn finally rip a hole in the space time continuum? Okay, that one. Was it an unfortunate accident at Largo's Burrito Bar? No, it was LeChuck. Apparently, his flaming beard melted its way through his icy tomb, freeing him. I knew I should have given him a shave before I left. But what caused the explosive blast of demonic heck fire? Oh, he was just letting off a little steam. Steam, get it? <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> So, after LeChuck escaped, how did you end up here? After his escape, LeChuck began destroying his theme park in a fit of demonic rage. Although, personally, I think he was just colossally embarrassed by the whole thing. I mean, really, what kind of a demonically evil scheme involves roller coasters and cotton candy, anyway? Enough editorializing. How'd you wind up here? Oh, that. Well, one of the explosions flung me out to sea, where, ironically, I landed on the shattered remnants of a Midway Dark game. After weeks at sea, I drifted to shore on this delightfully evil isle where Ozzy Mandrill, a man after my own blackened soul, gave me a job at this fine establishment. <laughs> you know, the tale of your exodus wasn't particularly filled with heart-stopping malice and evil. Are you kidding? It had LeChuck, Ozzy, and yours truly. How much more evil can you get? Good point. Good point. So, how would you like to become an integral part of a powerful voodoo talisman? Yes. How would you like to become an integral part of a powerful voodoo talisman? Is it an evil talisman? <laughs> Potentially. What's Brilliant. it called? The ultimate insult. The ultimate... Don't be naive, mortal. The ultimate insult is too powerful to be wielded by the likes of you. But I need a headpiece, and you'd be perfect. See? You fool! This diagram clearly indicates you need a monkey head. I am a human head. I just thought... Well, think a little harder. I want no part of this ultimate insult tomfoolery. We didn't actually look at the back of that painting. I'll have to do that once I finish with this conversation. Uh, we know what he's doing now, but I just want to talk to him anyway. Isn't it really? obvious? I'm the greeter slash bouncer of Planet Threepwood. The creme de la creme in pirate theme family style. All together evil dining. Murray! All right, I added the evil part. <laughs> I can't imagine how you could be a very good bouncer. Why not? Well, for starters, you've got no arms. Evil needs no <laughs> arms. Watch. You, over there with the face. 
Oh, who, me? Yes, you! I want you out of the restaurant now! Oh, but I'm not... Talk to the hand, mortal! Uh, what hand? Don't play smart with me, fleshbag! Out! 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 Impressive. I don't imagine you get much repeat business, though. <laughs> I do like Mori. All right, how do you like this job? You just want to be part of the ultimate insult? Um, are you sure you don't want to be a part of the ultimate here. insult? Absolutely not. I may be evil, but I'm not crazy. Okay. I've got to go. Stop by any time for more pirate theme fun and evil. <laughs> <laughs> Right, let's have a look at this painting then. Oh, okay, the ultimate insult. Gold, does that say gold, bronze, silver? It's got a map on it? one side and a picture of the ultimate insult on the other. The ultimate insult looks like it's comprised of three parts. A silver monkey head, a bronze hat, and a golden man. I wonder how it works. So I've got to get a silver monkey, what was it? Silver monkey hat, gold man, bronze hat. All right. Oh, I made it. Put that away. Set sail for family fun at Planet Can we go Threepwood. into there? See souvenirs of Guybrush Threepwood's most famous escapades. Taste culinary. Oh, and if he's got any like history of Guybrush on here, in here, let's have a look what the special board says. On today's menu is Swordmaster's Delight, Guybrush's Mighty Pirate Burger, Lobster LeChuck. And Elaine's Caesar salad. Big mighty pirates like myself can't live on salads. Today's special drinks are Largo's lemonade and Fat Fizz. Great chefs of the Tri Island area: stainless steel chef, copper chef, tin chef. I never heard of any of these guys. Um, maybe there's a gold chef. Didn't he say he needs a gold man? Golden Fish Award. Planet Three Foot has won the Golden Fish Award in Jambalaya Town. Nice. Look at, what's that say? Crappy Red Award. The best and only fish. Planet Three Foot. This place must be good. <laughs> Look at that. Eh, at least this place has a bar. Ooh, I like this place. Look at that. There's a lane. Nice touch of a lane. Oh, there's there's the um the flotation device from the beginning, beginning of Curse. That's interesting. I like that. Anything else I can see here? Not really. What's this? Check out. There's nobody here. Bet there's someone here when a customer tries to leave, though. Talk to waitress. Excuse me. Hi, I'm Elaine, and I'll be your waitress this afternoon. Would you like to hear about today's special? Um, no, not really. Maybe. Uh, yeah, go on then. I'd love to hear about today's special. We call it Stan's Budget Bologna Sub. It's four pieces of bologna, ham, and turkey smothered in three types of cheese on rye bread. Ew. Huh. <laughs> That's funny. We've been getting that reaction all day. Three types of cheese has my mouth watering. I think I'm ready to order. What'll it be? I want the, 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 uh, the Stan thingy. Oh. All right, let's get the burger. Guybrush's Mighty Pirate Burger sounds good. I thought it might. And to drink? Grog. Can we have Grog? No. Largo's Lemonade will be fine. Good choice, sir. And how will you be paying? Paying? Why should I pay? This place wouldn't exist if it weren't for me. This place wouldn't exist if it weren't for Ozzy Mandrill, sir. And you don't look like him. In any event, don't bother me again until you have some way of paying for your meal. Okay, so if we do need a meal, we need some kind of money. Look at Statue of Elaine. Looks like they managed to get their hands on some of Elaine's stuff. Glove, music box, plastic ice cream cone. Uh, Elaine's going to have an aneurysm when she finds out about this. We pick stuff up. Hey, look, but don't touch. Who said that? Where is the Statue of Elaine? Oh, that actual massive Statue of Elaine. Oh, my. Elaine's going to have a fit if she sees this. They made her look fat. Why? I have the real thing at home. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. It's over here. Seems to be a lot to look at. She's good fun. Guy brought old clothes. Oh my gosh. Somebody stole my original pirate clothes out of my closet. Pick them up. I bet we can't. But she hey! stops us. Look, yeah. but don't touch. I think that's the waitress saying that. Look at Murray's arm. I wonder if Murray knows that they have his arm on display in here. I can't reach it. Okay, so that's there. I quite like this place. I could spend quite a while in here just looking around. What else we got here? We got LucasArts mug right at the top there. Random paraphernalia. LucasArts seems to have their grubby hands into everything around here. 
funny really seems this, this was their was wasn't this their last game? Pretty sure this, this was their last adventure game at least anyway. I can't reach it. Right. So we are in Planet Guybrush, and we're going to investigate the rest of Planet Guybrush and the rest of Jambalaya in the next episode. Um, a serious thank you to you guys who helped me in the previous episode. Um, I'm going to take a wander around the island next time, so um, thank you very much. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed it, and until next time, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is you're doing right now, and take care. <laughs>